The purpose of the fuel rail pressure sensor is actually in the name. It measures the fuel rail pressure and sends it to the ECM. In some situations, the sensor also reads the temperature of the fuel. In simple terms, the sensor is used by the ECM to calculate and send the signal to the fuel pump control module to control the speed of the fuel pump. The system is known as an electronic returnless fuel system. But first, I want to thank All Data for sponsoring today's video. All Data has online step-by-step -step repair manuals that have everything you need to safely diagnose and repair the vehicle yourself. They have over 30,000 vehicle repair manuals starting from 1982 all the way to 2022 based on the specific make, model, and engine. As you can see here, you have access to trouble codes, service tables, TSBs, electrical diagrams, specifications, maintenance, and much more. So if you want to save a lot of money on mechanical repairs and become a DIYer, check out the link in the description below. Using All Data's manual, here's the location on a Ford Fusion. You might not even have one. Some cars have a fuel pressure regulator instead. The first symptom of a bad fuel pressure sensor is an engine light. If the engine control module notices the sensor's malfunctioning, it will turn on the check engine light. Here's some codes that are related to a faulty fuel rail pressure sensor. I'll leave the scanner that I use and works for me in the description below. Now you can still have a faulty sensor with no check engine light, so let's move on to the next symptom. The second symptom you could be experiencing is a hard start. You'll hear the starter crank in the engine, but it's taking longer than usual to turn on. This can happen if the sensor is giving a false fuel pressure reading to the ECM. A false reading can mislead the ECM into making the wrong decisions and actually make the engine run too lean or too rich. Either one will cause the engine to have a hard start. The third symptom is the engine stalling. You'll notice your vehicle randomly turn off when you're parked or driving. This is due to the same factor described previously. The sensor gives a false fuel pressure reading, therefore the ECM thinks it's making the correct decisions, but ultimately gets fooled and ends up disrupting the air fuel ratio, causing the vehicle to randomly turn off. The fourth symptom is poor performance. You'll notice your vehicle being slower than usual. In order for the engine to perform its best, the combustion chambers need to combust at the perfect air fuel ratio. If air or fuel is disrupted, then your engine's power will suffer. In this case, if the sensor is faulty, it will trick the ECM and will mess up the air fuel ratio, creating a loss of power. The fifth symptom is poor fuel economy. Since the air fuel ratio is disrupted, you can connect the dots as to why the fuel economy is suffering. You're either using too much fuel when it's not needed in the combustion chamber, or you're not using enough fuel. This could be the reason why you've been going to the gas station more often. A quick tip that's worked for me to get your car running better temporarily is to disconnect the fuel pressure sensor connector. This makes the ECM change the operating conditions and it helps your car run better until the sensor is replaced. Now if you guys want to learn how a fuel pressure regulator works then click here.